so much pressure. Oh my god. Oh, my hair looks good though. That's all that matters. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? The technical beast Josh Woods from Ring of Honor, the pure champion. You can catch me at Beyond on New Year's Eve. I will be uh, there whooping ass, as I always do. And you guys are tuned into the Battleground Podcast. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Battleground Podcast. Took a week off just to kind of get things going for Christmas vacations and whatnot, but today we're back with a big show. A guest that we had on uh, earlier in the year and who has excelled since he's been on the show, which we feel as if we're the uh, the ones that made that happen. Let's bring him in. Josh Woods is back on the show. Josh, my man. Oh, <laughs> Thank up, you for man? coming back on the show again. Of course, and thanks for having me, dude. Man, always a pleasure, and uh, I kind of want to talk about the elephant in the room, final battle, man. That was a hell of a night. Uh, what was your thought process going into that night, knowing that that was the, the last pay-per-view of the year till April? Uh, you know, pretty much same that always goes on, man. Just, you know, a little bit of nerves, a little bit of stress. Just, uh, you know, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really think of it as, like, the fi last final battle. You know, I just uh, another match to just kind of keep, keep doing what i'm doing and i don't know i don't really think of things like oh well this is done you know because right the wrestling so it's just a, a different platform or at a different place uh, it was it was bittersweet that's for sure uh a little, a little sad but you know you know the head like the, it was just so hectic and we're all over the place you didn't really have time like stop and like really like think about it and let it sink in but uh yeah i was just a little bummed that it could potentially be the last one but um had some really good moments and that's all that's all i can ask for for sure and we were sitting there watching it and i was kind of watching how things were going off and i was like okay this title changed hand this title changed hands i was like for a second there i was like josh just got this title is he is he gonna drop the belt because i mean i mean you had a tough opponent there for a little bit during that match yeah brian was brian's uh very formidable he's just uh just didn't do enough, uh, you <laughs> <For> know. <sure. laughs> uh, yeah, I just did do enough, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll try to to hold that forever. That title, it's mine for sure. It's and mine. you know, you, you see Gresham, and he's talked about defending that ROH title anywhere and everywhere he's going. Is that the plan for you? Are you able to take that and defend it wherever you want to go? Kind of like how back in the old days, NWA would take their titles everywhere and defend them. Well, it's mine. So uh, <laughs> anywhere I'm at, it's at. So yeah, uh, you know, as as long as people want to see that match, I'll I'll defend it anywhere. Uh, you know, because I'm a fighting champion. That's like so cliche to say, right? But right. I think like you know, this is a really cool opportunity for us. You know, guys like myself, Gresh, Rhett. You know, we can we can have matches we may not have been able to have had Ring of Honor still be going on or whatnot. So this is kind of like a cool opportunity for people like you know trying to. I guess test themselves and see if, if you know if they got what it takes to to take the straps, you know. Right, for sure. And you know, we've had uh some some of the other roster on from Ring of Honor since the news broke out earlier this year about what's happening and then this final battle. Now now that the final battle's over, what's kind of the focus now? Like are you kind of just taking it slow? Are you going to just kind of take some time off? Or are you just going right back into wrestling and hitting the indie scene? Like, what's the plan? Because we did see you on AEW, which we're going to talk about that here as well. But what what's the plan now that Final Battle's over with and you're heading into 2022? Uh, you know, I've already had a couple of shows uh, that were not ROH. Um, I just want to keep wrestling, man. Anywhere I can, any, yeah. anyone, I'll do it. Uh I just want to wrestle. Uh, I'll wrestle every day. I'll wrestle every weekend. I don't care. I just want to wrestle. And if uh, people want to wrestle me, they can they can wrestle me. Uh, I love it. Right. I want, to, I want to keep doing it until I can't. So sure. uh, yeah, I don't really plan on taking a break. I mean, if I have to take a break, it's not because I want to. It's just because you know I know there's like a lot of people in the market right now, so it's just it's flooded and saturated and and. Uh, I can't, I can't make people book me, you know, like, and, and, you know, some people just may not like Joshua Woods. That's fine, man. You know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but, uh, I'm trying to stay as busy as I can reach out to whoever I can and just try to make moments and make some magic. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. 
Well, I will tell you that you, Josh, are our cup of tea on this show because it's always a pleasure to have you on. When Mark hit me up and he was like, hey, you want to have Josh? And I was like, of course I want Josh. Like, Josh is a great dude. And we've also got some interesting stuff that happened on this show, which I want to talk about this because I, I took this video and this was what? I, I think you were on the show about six months ago, a little over six months. This was before you even had the ROH Pure title. And oh, this okay. happened right here on this show. And I'm going to play this video for you. Gresham is going to slip up here soon. And I think, plays. you know, people, when we've had people on the show, they go on to win the titles. And I think that, uh, that Josh Wood is going to win that ring of honor pure title. What, what movie is that with Dan cook where he, uh, where he can't, is get it a good luck Chuck? Yeah. 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 You guys like the good, where luck he like, wrestling. well, we, yeah, but we don't sleep with the wrestlers, but we just make yeah. sure that they get on there and they, uh, you know, <laughs> you know get, I, get that title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the same thing. Uh, yeah, man. Like Gresham is arguably one of the best wrestlers in the world. He's, he's phenomenal. Um, I would put him like right up there with Jay, uh, Daniel Bryan. Uh, those are just like, he's freaking great. And, uh, anytime I'm in the ring with him, I sometimes it's like, we'll watch like all his other stuff. And I'm like, man, I don't remember how, I don't even know how to wrestle anymore. And I'm like, you're so good. And then like, <laughs> when we have matches, it's just like, I always feel like I'm, I'm learning or, or thinking differently and it. And he elevates everyone he wrestles with and, and uh, when that match does happen, and it's going to happen, like, it's going to happen. And it happened. It did. And then you won the title. I did. I did. Like I said, I was going to. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a liar. Josh Woods doesn't lie. And, I, and it goes to show that when you come on this show, you go on to win gold. And we put it out there in the universe. You said when that match is going to happen, and it's going to happen, it happened. You walked away winning gold. Now, after you see that clip, like what goes through your mind now when we predicted this, you know, months ago? Uh, yeah, it's just I remember. I just yeah, I remember. Man, that was a long time ago. It was like I had I had rock. You had the man bun. Wow, so that was over six months. That was almost a year. It had to have been. Yeah. Uh, it's just crazy, like how much you know we. I mean, specifically myself have grown just in the past year. Uh, it's wild to think that that uh you know even even one year i've just i've had tremendous growth i've had phenomenal matches and i've done things a lot of people didn't think i could do uh so that that that's always great to to just kind of shut some people up or open people's eyes and you know i've always i've always tried to improve and and grow and uh, yeah i think i've done that so i'm just gonna keep keep climbing that mountain for maybe, sure maybe one day i'll come for the world title we'll see Oh, it's going to happen. I mean, if you want to come for this world podcast championship that we just got, I mean, you can come for that one as well. I mean, Nashville's uh, always looking for some great wrestlers. It's not that far. It's not that far. Now, you, you've got that uh, the background in MMA. Has it, you know, has there any been any like thought of maybe you want to get back in the cage, maybe do a couple of those fight now that you've got some free times, or do you just want to kind of keep your focus on wrestling? I mean, the yeah. face says it all right there, the expressions. Yeah, uh, you know, I, my last fight fight was 2012. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 2014, when I signed with NXT, I kind of put uh, MMA and Jiu Jitsu on the back burner, rightfully so, you know, because it, it was just, it wasn't for me anymore. And uh, you know, I would dabble here and there, and I would train with some of my buddies and help out with some friends and stuff. But, yeah, I'm. I think I'm way too too out of it to get back in. I'm pretty rusty. Like I started training with Chuck O'Neill again, and I feel like I'm relearning a lot of stuff. So it's just like, ugh. And like, I mean, if I absolutely had to, and I really wanted to, I could probably take a fight within. I don't know, two months. I could probably be ready in two months. Oof. I don't think I could do that. But I mean, if if the yeah, money's out there, like let's say I don't know. Logan Paul or Jake Paul comes to you and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna box you." You uh, gonna take I, that? I would open hand slap the shit out of him. Yeah, it would be great. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win with uh, between Tyron and and Paul? Is it rigged? I've seen in contract. I've seen on the internet that there's like a contract stipulation that you can't knock him out. Well, then it's rigged. So then I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it it should be fun to watch. I mean. I don't Why? Know. It's, just, it's a glorified sparring match where one guy knows he can win and the other guy is just holding on so they can both make a payday. Yeah, I don't care about it that. It is true. I mean, well, you look at what Ben did when he when he fought Paul. He just took that one on the chin and went, boop. 
and fell over. I mean, yo, sign me up for a couple mil, man. I'll I'll, I'll fake fight for a couple mil. That'd be great. Oh, for sure. And I, I looked at the, the the card on there, and it's like Deron Williams versus Frank Gore in a boxing match. It's like NBA versus NFL. I don't know, but uh, it should be fun to watch. And uh, something else that was fun to watch as we scrolled through social media, of course, when you know Ring of Honor does their thing, and there's this forbidden door, and it appears that Josh Woods has walked through this forbidden door, and we all marked out when we saw Josh show up on AEW Dark. How did that all come about? Like, did you reach out to somebody? Did somebody reach out to you? Um, just I have some. I have a lot of friends that I made in Ring of Honor, and it just kind of came up. It wasn't really more one or the other. It just came up a conversation, and I was like, "Hey, man, what's dark available? It's in Orlando." I'm like, well, yeah, we can find out for you. So I figure, why not? Uh, push the water, push the envelope a little bit, test the water, sip the little boop, little, little pinky toe in there, you know, <laughs> right. get, a little, get a little temperature check. Uh, yeah. So like, that was pretty cool, man. Uh, a lot of the guys that are over there now from ROH, uh, I think I have a pretty good relationship with them as far as professionally. I've always, I've always been a pretty decent person. So uh, I know I haven't burned any bridges with those guys. And unfortunately some other people can't say the same things, but I only can control my own stuff. Right. So that's not, it's not a Josh Woods problem, yeah. but, uh, yeah. So I've, I've maintained really good relationships and like everyone there was really cool. And, uh, I got to talk to Tony a little bit and he was awesome. And yeah, I could, uh, I could, I could see Josh Woods being all elite. That'd be pretty neat. I mean, I'm just waiting for it to come across. I mean, you had that match with Sean Spears. Of course, the outcome wasn't what we wanted it to be. Well, it wasn't pure rules. I mean, you put it under pure rules and I don't think there's anybody on that roster that's going to beat me. So yeah. No, I don't think so. I think the only person that could possibly give you a run for your money would be Jake Hager. Maybe. Nah. No? I don't think so. See, there's nobody on that roster that you think could give you a run for your money in AEW. I mean, Daniel Bryan, sure. Jay Lethal, sure. Now that he's there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. other, other than that, I mean, I don't know. It's just pure wrestling is different, man. Like, there are a lot of great wrestlers on AEW. I'm not taking anything away from those guys. There are a lot of talented athletes, a lot of great wrestlers, but there's only a couple pure wrestlers you know it's very different yeah uh, yeah i mean i think i would love to wrestle moriarty he's he'd be great uh uh yuda would be awesome there are some other people i'd like to wrestle just just to wrestle them. i don't care if it's pure rules or not they have they have a tremendous roster and uh, if i could be a part of that yeah i'm not sure i would say no but oh, yeah of course uh, <laughs> yeah nothing has been talked about so if that if that does happen uh, people will know about it i guess yeah, and we, I mean, like I said, we all got excited when we were scrolling through and we saw the little, this week on AEW Dark, and it was a thing. I was like, oh, shit, there's Josh. And uh, super pumped about that. And, uh, you know, is there is there any kind of pulling back the curtains? Is there any plans for maybe another match on Dark? Or is that just kind of like a gentleman's agreement that was kind of like a test, like you said, dipping your toe in the water? Uh, I mean, I have nothing set in stone. Uh, if, you know, I would, if they would like to have me back, I would definitely say, yeah. So, uh, if that happens, it'll, it'll happen. I just don't really, I don't know for sure. Cause that's, uh, I don't really have that information right now, but right. yeah, if it, if it does, that'd be great. Uh, I would love to do it and hopefully they, they would like to have me. I mean, yeah, I couldn't see why not, but for sure. then again, man, I can't make people do stuff. I can only just. Just do my best. Well, we can make stuff make stuff happen as fans out there. We can start tweeting Tony every day. Sign Josh. Sign Josh. Start making the Josh Woods is all elite memes and put oh, them yeah, out there. Yeah, cool. So that's that's our plan. So everybody that's listening to this and watching to this, we have got to make sure that Josh becomes all elite, and that's going to happen because oh, yeah. I mean, it would be nice to see that pure title show up on AEW or maybe. Yeah. Uh, show up an impact or MLW or I mean that's the fun part about right now is you could walk into any place you want and now that you're the ROH pure title you you're seeing a lot of of uh, everybody defending like I just saw that uh, Gresham is defending his title against AJ Gray in a ROH and uh, pure wrestling rules which is great is there like that dream match now that you have that title I know we talked about Brian and you talked about some of the other guys in AEW but put aside AEW and you can have anybody. Pure rules go out. It. Who is it? 
Um, uh, you know, I've always I've always admired Kenta, so that's always one I would like to have. At least in pure rules, he can't hit me as much, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Suzuki for sure. That's always been someone I've always wanted to wrestle. Uh, Jay White would be would be pretty Ooh. sweet. Uh, Rich Swan, I like Swanee. He's he's pretty cool. Not That'd exactly a, a pure guy, but I don't see why he couldn't be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to think. You know, Pete Dunn. People regard Pete Dunn as a pretty good technical wrestler, but I, I don't know. I don't think he's the best. Yeah, but that'd be that'd be a fun one for me. You know, I've, I've noticed a lot of these guys aren't that big either. Like a lot of the guys that do pure wrestling, not very big. You know, it's just that's right. You know, it's, it doesn't almost it almost doesn't seem fair. It seems like you're uh, the giant among men when it comes to that. Um, I'm a beast, dude. It's a technical yeah. beast. I you know, just can't can't help it. Now let's let's. Uh, I, I kind of want to go back a little bit again to final battle because I mean it was a it was one hell of a night, and uh, of course sitting there watching it, uh, I mean there was so many emotions and you know so much going on. Was there one person that that you would have loved to seen that night, like had a match? If you didn't have it. With Brian, who would would there have been somebody else? Uh, so actually, I, I had originally this was months before I had pitched uh, Bobby Fish. Oh, I had pitched Bobby. I had also pitched Austin Aries, and uh, I had talked to Doug Williams as well. That would have been that would have been great. And uh, Alex Shelley, I had pitched all those guys. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just thinking about this right now with the Bobby Fish, can, are you going to try to vouch for that in a different, uh, I guess, area? Is that still kind of sitting there on the table? I mean, for me, I would love to wrestle Bobby. I think, I think, man, one of us is getting beat up pretty bad. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, you know, if if I can just, if that can happen, I don't care what banner it is under. I don't care what color, who owns the promotion, where, what country. I just want it to happen, so. For sure. Uh, uh, yeah, that'd be sweet for me. I mean, let's do uh, Josh versus Bobby Bloodsport. That would be pretty cool. Just going to throw that one out there. I yeah, would. Uh, let's put that into existence. I mean, we did it with the ROH Pure title, so now we're going to put it out there in existence. Bobby, Josh, Bloodsport. There it is. Yeah, maybe I'll text Barnett and see what he thinks. Yo, let's do it. I'm, I will buy a ticket and a plane ticket wherever – Barnett does it. If he does it in Nashville, which I would hope he would, um, I will buy a play, I will buy a ticket to that show front row, and dope. I will have a Josh Wood sign right there. I'll sign it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so, so what's kind of uh, the next thing? I mean, we're we're coming up towards the end of the year. Um, what's what's next on the agenda for Josh heading into 2022? Uh, well. Uh, at New Year's, I'll be making my debut at Beyond, and like I'm pretty excited about that. I've always like heard pretty good stuff about the promotion. I've seen a lot of cool things, and they have pretty talented rosters. So definitely looking forward to being there. I know the foundation will be there, so uh, being with the boys is always going to be a good time. I have a lot of stuff coming up in like, January, February, so just trying to stay busy and uh, stay wrestling. You know, so when we come back in April, I'm not too rusty and out of shape, so just gotta just gotta keep going. Right, for sure. And, you know, is there, um, I guess, you're going to defend the title anywhere you go. That's the best part about that. Um, is there anything you want to tell everybody out there right now that's watching, listening to this episode, uh, that you want to tell them, hey, like, here's my merch, here's where I'm going to be next, definitely do this? I know, like, I need to make a, a, a pro wrestling tees store. I haven't done that yet, I know. I, I've been a bad boy. I've been, I haven't been lazy for some reason, but... uh yeah, I need to get on that. I've been naughty. But uh, yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter or on Instagram at Woods is the Goods. I'm pretty responsive, man. So for the most part, if people want to say what's up or reach out, I, mean, I'll, I'm, I usually answer a lot of stuff depending on on how respectful it is. Or some people just tell me they don't like them. I'm like, cool, man. Right. Thanks. Like, hey, that's fine. So, but yeah. So if you feel free to reach out and say whatever, say what's up, I'll respond. I'm pretty cool about that kind of stuff. I think I like talking to everybody. For sure. And it's always a pleasure getting to talk to you when we're, we're on social media because me and you will go back and forth on Instagram or Twitter. And I'm like, yo, this is Josh. This isn't somebody running his account right now. No, that's me, man. I like, I like talking to people. 
you know, you can kind of, I like to read a lot of stuff, see what people like, see what they don't like. And, you know, when people will say, oh, well, like when me and Silas were putting our stuff together, oh, like, that's a crappy name. I was like, all right, man, we'll suggest one. And they usually don't respond. They're like, oh, I don't know. I didn't mean anything by it. It's like, okay, well, I mean, if you're going to say something, like, you know, offer a solution, don't, don't keep adding to the problem. Right, for sure. And, and that was another thing is like, uh, you know, we, we liked you and Silas on together. We, the first time we had you on the show, it was you and Silas. And I think that was still when you were trying to get into everything and Silas kind of took the reins of it. And then, you know, I got to tell you, this is the third time that you've been on. Silas has only been on once. I mean, when you got it, you got it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, for sure. Nah, Silas is awesome, man. Like, I, uh, we, we two guys one tag isn't done forever that's for sure and let's just let's just say that Ooh, i like the way that seems and we we kind of close it on that we leave everybody with the cliffhanger until the next time josh comes on because the next time josh can come on he's going to have more titles around his waist and uh anything else you want to say to everybody before we let you hop off here and enjoy uh, your night hey uh, thanks everyone for tuning in reach out say what's up have fun enjoy wrestling have a safe holiday and you as well, man. Be safe, dude, for traveling. Josh, thank you so much again for coming on the show. It's been an honor. And uh, anytime you want to come back on, show's always welcome for you, bud. Hell yeah, man. Thank you.